You know what this looks like? I'm so scared. What is that Fencing? called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Hey everyone, it's Jasmine. And Chris. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be changing things up and we are going to be testing out some recipes and food hacks that we found on YouTube and it should be an interesting time. If you haven't heard of the YouTube channel 5 Minute Crafts or 5 Minute Recipes, I think they're one of the more popular YouTube channels. I think they're one of the biggest, if not the biggest YouTube channel. They make YouTube. a lot of life hacks and food hacks and different recipes and they don't always seem as realistic as they come across, so we're gonna be putting them to the test today. Let's just be blunt, they seem fake sometimes. <laughs> we're gonna find out if it's real today. And to make it a little bit more fun, we're gonna be taste testing some wines as we try out these recipes, so it should be a good time. I'm, I'm excited about <laughs> it. Uh, I don't know about you. But... I hope that, yeah, I am too, and I hope that you are too. If you wanna grab some wine or wanna grab a drink while we do this video, I'll leave you some time to do that now. And also we're going to talk about our sponsor today, which is Wink Wines. So Wink Wines is actually the internet's number one wine subscription service. And they offer a way for you to discover new wines without the retail markup and it's delivered right to your door. And of course, most importantly, they have vegan wine options. If you didn't know, not all wine is vegan and that's actually something we didn't know when we first went vegan. Wine isn't vegan because during the filtration process and the clarification process, they use non-vegan ingredients like egg whites or even fish bladder called casein, casein. gelatin. So you wanna make sure you know what's in your wine. And thankfully with Wink Wines, you can because you can filter by vegan. Wink offers hundreds of different wines on their website. And what's cool is not only can you filter their wines by different varieties or flavor palettes, they also have the option to filter by value, including things like low sugar, low sulfur, and of course, vegan. So that is what we did for today. We got four different vegan wines to enjoy throughout this video and I'm really excited to try them. So if you want to check out Wink Wines for yourself, we have all the information in our description box down below. They're giving a special offer to our subscribers. You can get four bottles of wine for under $30, which is crazy. I'm going to jump on that too. <laughs> and also free shipping. So head to the link in our bio and let's get started. So we got four bottles of wine for this video. Initially, we were going to drink a glass each, but I don't know if I want to get wasted tonight. So we are going to share a glass of every wine to Keep, Keep it us a level. Little, yeah. <laughs> By the end of this video, we'll be on the floor if exactly. we don't do this. So let's take a sip of wine first. Oh, let's take a sip of wine. What do we got? Americana. Mer Mer Americana. Americana. This is from it's Argentina. Malbec 2020. 2020. Wait, what are you supposed to do? Vintage. I don't know. It's you fill this one up a lot, so I feel like you're gonna make it spill. <laughs> I need an aerator. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We went, we did a wine tasting once and the lady explained to us what we're supposed to do, but I don't really remember. We were yeah, just like, like <laughs> you like aerated through your mouth and stuff. I actually like that. <laughs> like that? That's exactly good. like that. Are you supposed to like bring it in through your teeth? Am I crazy? I have no idea. The thing about five minute crafts and their recipes is they don't give any directions. Oh. Zero context, zero explanation, zero recipes. I saw this in the description. It says, this video is made for entertainment purposes. We do not make any warranties about the completeness, safety, and reliability. Any wow. action you take upon the information on this video is strictly at your own risk and we will not be liable for any damages or losses. It is the viewer's responsibility to use judgment care and precautions if one plans to replicate. So basically um, like we're full of crap and we're gonna. But it's your fault, not ours. Yeah. All right, popcorn. They're watching movies. Okay. This guy looks just like one of Chris's friends, it's Matt It's kind of scary. Shout out, I'm gonna Matt put Schindel. them side by side. It might be him. It might be him. She's mm. pissed. She's really pissed. Her shirt says, excuse me? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so apparently they're gonna make popcorn in a waffle maker, but honestly, we're watching this video. Chris realized something. They're just throwing popcorn down. It really looks like they're just throwing popcorn onto it and filming, and it kind of looks like popping. But they're, I don't know. They're tossing popcorn onto the waffle iron. And then all of a sudden, she has like a freaking grocery. No, it's like a Trader Joe's grocery bag. <laughs> it's not even a paper <laughs> lunch bag. Okay, so. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Do Wanna we close give a disclaimer? it? What do we do? 
This might be stale. Um, this is from two years ago, but we're gonna try it out. I don't think popcorn goes bad, but we'll see. Popcorn doesn't go off or spoil, but it doesn't last forever. Dry kernels usually have a shelf life of a year or two, but can last much longer. All right, we're good. Sorry. All right. I'm actually really nervous. I got this to like... <laughs> <laughs> if it just starts yeah. popping, I'm gonna freak out. Ooh, they're bubbling. Uh-oh. I can see you bubbling. I'm so stupid, I was about to say, these look like corn. <laughs> Do we close it? I don't think so. They left it open. Open and. But I feel like if we close it, Do it's we have not any gonna... popcorn to throw into it? I know. <laughs> I feel like if we close it, it's not going to be able to pop correctly. Five minutes crafts, right? So this should be. All right, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. It smells good. <laughs> I'm kind of. Uh, I'm not expecting anything to happen. No. Oh, it's a pressure cooker with our beans. I was like, <laughs> what? I thought it was like the fire uh, alarm going off. Oh! We got a pop, we got a pop. <laughs> we got one! <laughs> Look at this, beautiful. That was so cool. How is it? Okay. It's like not fully pop. It's like kind of hard. How the hell did that happen? It was hard. That was cool. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's see that. We gotta make our Trader Joe's bag. Oh yeah, it's not fully popping. Right? No. It's not fully popping. This is like popping popcorn in a pen. Like you wouldn't do that. You have to use a pot. No, they have the, J remember the Jiffy pot. But it has a lid. That's what I'm that's saying. True. Like Should you we don't, close it? You don't just do this in an open pan. Let's close it. She didn't close the lid in the video. I can see you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing hope here. Three. We had two, two pops. One. Wow. All right. I think we could officially rule this one out as a fail. <laughs> We got our next video to Ooh, watch. This, this is actually the one I'm the most excited about, I think. We have good music. All right, oil. we're gonna oil. Okay, a little brush. Corn, corn dough. dough. They didn't tell us how to make it a corn dough, so. <laughs> Half a hot dog, okay, that's a the Vertically key. sliced with that's... some barbecue sticks. Boom. Wow, that looks perfect. And I guess you just cut them in half. We're making some waffle iron corn dogs. I've actually never made corn dogs before, I don't think, never right? Never made a corn dog in my whole life. Typically they're fried, so this should be interesting because this is gonna be like semi-baked. Pretty much like a baked I hope option. the dough's okay. I just got like a generic all recipes corn, corn dog batter, and I just made it vegan by swapping out the milk and the eggs with just egg and almond milk. I'm a little nervous because... We have never made this before. <laughs> right, and first of all, this was like a fried recipe. Oh. So I don't know if I should have looked up a baked one, but maybe we're gonna try this. We already we're did gonna it. see. We're gonna roll with it. It's hard to put it in straight. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should do you wanna like lay it down on the I think counter? it's fine. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know about that one. Oh, by the way, we have two waffle makers. Forgot to address that. Um, we just got two waffle makers. If you want to ask us why, we don't have a good reason. I don't have an explanation. Uh-oh. They're jumbo. Oh, sh**. <laughs> Should I? Here, let me trim them a little. I'll trim the rest. Oh, my God. The spilling. Oh, my God. <laughs> 30 oh, no. Five-minute disaster. All right. Thin layer. Thin layer. I'm learning as we go here. No directions in this video, so this one looks better. Yeah, this looks better. When we close this, it's gonna overflow. That's exactly everywhere. what I was thinking. So maybe. The, so how did they do it? Because they lie. And how long do we cook it? Cook it till it's cooked. Oh my god, it's overflowing out the edge. Ugh. Oh my god, it's all over the counter. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is surprising. Wow, it looks good. Maybe like another minute or two. Yeah, it's the not edge looks yet. a little messed up. <laughs> that was pretty good. Your teeth are purple, are mine? Yeah. Why? Oh, the wine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> the grand reveal. Here we go. Wow. wow. I really want to know what goes on for those videos. I know. Okay. Wow. That one came off pretty Look good. at the bottom. Wow. That's impressive. Okay. Oh. 
All right, hot Let's dog try, down. One more. We're gonna try one more really quick with smaller hot dogs, and we'll be right back. By appearance, these seem to work out. They are cooked they actually on the look inside really and good. the outside. The Fluffy. thing we noticed is in order to cook them, in order to fully encase the hot dog in the batter, we had to make the waffle maker overflow. It was like the only way. Got a little messy. Definitely got messy. We wasted a lot of batter, which sucked, but. I'm taking the skewer out. Yeah, I think I am too. That's actually really good. That's a corn dog. That's a corn dog. Wow. For putting it on a waffle iron, I'm really impressed. That's delicious. Oh my God. I would eat this again. I would eat this again. 100%. The cooking process was a little messy. We'll also put the recipe that we used down below. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's good though. That is good. Mm -hmm. I guess the recipe itself isn't a five minute recipes. Like they, they can't take credit for that because we used all recipes. Mm -hmm. But the idea is pretty cool. It's a little messy. I feel like if I were to make a corn dog again, I wouldn't use this method just because of the waste. I would deep fry it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so far we have one win, one fail, and I'm, I'm excited to see what else is going on here. We are going to change up our wine Ooh. for the next segment. Rogue Admirals. Rogue Admiral, which I really like this bottle. First of all, it's funny. It's a red blend from Southern Australia. Product of Australia. Let's do a little... Uh, shout out Matt. Shout out Matt. What is it? I wanted Matt? to smell them next to each other. 1917 really. vintage. Ooh. Interesting. 2020. Rogue Admirals. It's definitely a little more fruity than the other one. Hmm. A little fruity. Less oh, woodsy wow. than the other yeah, one. Yeah, this one's definitely fruitier. I think I like this one better than the last one. Okay. I think I like the other one better. We're gonna have purple teeth. Next. Next video, let's do Ooh. it. Five minute recipes. Okay. What do you got for us? Five minute recipes. All right, got some Nutella. Okay. Well, some white some bread, bread. Ooh. fork, rip the Super bread a little. white bread. Oh, it's a Pop-Tart. And uh, basically. Or is it an Uncrustable? Oh. It's like a mix of the two. We don't have vegan Nutella, but I have coconut, cacao coconut butter. Bali so butter. So we're going to use that. So you just like Let's dollop see. it in the middle, right? It looks like they only put it in the middle. A little like bit, that. yeah. I don't want to put too much. I'm like ripping the bread, right? Is our bread wide enough? I'm ripping it. <laughs> you got to be a little more gentle, man. They ripped it in the video. You saw the sides opening. <laughs> Maybe when I do the other side, I won't rip. Am I supposed to do the other side I, too? I they think did. you do all sides. No, I mean like the back. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks a little funky funky. I'm gonna like press this in a little bit more because I'm scared it's not gonna stick. Did I do it right? It's like, something's weird. It looks a little like it's, we'll just see how it goes. All right, we're gonna pop it in to our toaster. How long do we toast it? I don't know, maybe I should put on like a four. Cause I didn't say. Yeah, let's do like middle, middle of the pack. Wow. They didn't really stay together. Didn't really work as intended. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ours is more of a. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Good sauce. Tastes exactly how you'd expect it to. Didn't really stay together or work as no. intended. So. Oh, good though. It's not bad. But I would say yeah, that's, a, a fail. that's a no from me. Same line, a new recipe. Here we go. This is the one recipe that I'm the most scared about. All right, so we're gonna make some cooked ramen with vegan cheese and a vegan we'll egg. We'll do a vegan egg. And we're gonna transfer that to a cake pan. So look at this, like there's magically enough ramen watch. See, they definitely added more ramen there, right? There's I think it's just, it's like a magical multiplying ramen. Did you see yeah. that though? All right, we'll Some do vegan cheese, mozzarella, pizza sauce. sauce. Nice macro there. They that, do a great bread. job in terms really of nice. filming. More cheese. More cheese. Cheers. We'll do some vegan pepperoni or vegan meat. More cheese. Jesus, this is a different kind some of cheese. Some oregano, and then bake it for 15, 15 minutes. minutes. And then apparently it's supposed to do this. I cooked up some ramen. 
pre-cooked ramen. All right, I'm gonna add some vegan egg, some Parmesan. Again, they didn't say how much, so maybe like that out. much. We're just gonna toss this together. This is very interesting. All right, I'm gonna add my ramen to the pan. They didn't say how big of a pan <laughs> we needed. This is the size that we have, so this is what we're gonna use. It's funny how they don't give you the temperature, but they tell you how long to bake it. I know. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Then I'm gonna take my pizza sauce. More, More cheese. cheese. Salame. This isn't salami or pepperoni, but it'll work. It's what we had in our fridge. All right, let's see what they put on top. They don't say, man, of course. It looks like a different cheese. It looks and it like looks Parmesan. Dry. Yeah, it looks dry. That's All right, let's just do a mix of both. All right, we'll do a mix of parm and mozzarella because they don't say. And then a little schmutz of oregano. Bake Here we for go. 15. We'll see you in 15. At a random temperature. We'll see you soon. It was a little hard to get this out of the baking pan, but, but I was able to do it. It worked. Yeah, it worked. Oh my gosh. And it was easy to cut. It's so. not as easy to pick it up as it was in their video. Ooh, it feels weird. It pretty, it stayed together pretty well. Can you fold it like Oh, actually, no, actually it didn't. Look, um, never mind. I lied. This is so weird. I feel like we had a bowl of ramen and I just grabbed it and I'm eating it, right? It didn't stay together. Initially, it felt like it was. Maybe if we let it cool, but then the, pe the cheese will be all cold. I'd rather get regular pizza. It tastes good. It's not bad. Flavor? Yes. Mm hmm Execution? No. Yeah. A little sad. Mm. I thought it worked really well initially, but I guess it did. It kind of did. Like we got it, it out and... It came out of the pan in one piece, but I think after I cut it and we picked it up, yeah, it all, just couldn't support went itself. Hell. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll put double the amount of egg. Yeah. Maybe... There won't be a next time. Who are we kidding? Maybe if we make like a batter and like mix it through so it like has more opportunity to solidify. Could it know. be that... Ramen doesn't belong as a pizza crust. Great point. All right, last recipe and last two wines. We didn't count correctly and uh, we didn't divide the wines correctly between the recipes, but it's okay. We have a Point de Passage red blend. And we have their Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. You wanna try this? It's like. Yeah, I'll try it. I don't know, what is that, citrusy? What is that? Oh, you know what it tastes like? Grapefruit. Mm, yep. Grapefruit. Mm -hmm. This really tastes like we got grapefruit and squeezed it in. Like it's it a does. very, very prominent grapefruit flavor. It's good. Last recipe. This is an interesting one. So you gotta shake the onion and then it turns into rings. Slices. Pretty cool. Genius. Why haven't I, why haven't we been doing that? That's amazing. Alright, they're pouring in a whole egg, which we're gonna do vegan egg. That's it. <laughs> They don't even flip it? What do you want to flip it? I'm, we're going to have to with the just egg, I yeah. think. Yeah. This one will be pretty easy. Yeah. It doesn't, I think this one will work. I hope. Unless it like oozes up. You know what? Let's try it. it we'll find ooze. out on camera. I'm really scared that the egg is going to leak out of this. Oh, it smells great. It smells like uh, Shogun. Benihana. Benihana. All right. Woo! You gotta be gentle with that pour. Scared me. Oh, no leakage. No leakage. It smells like it's burning. It looks pretty. It looks like a, an egg, That's you know? That's what this one does, yeah. The little one. Oh, we got some leakage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? How is that happening? Let's try it again, but put less egg inside. It seems like it's, because it's expanding, I guess. Oh, it's just bubbling. Take two. Take two. We changed the pan. We're gonna see if this pan works better. Okay, that one's going. Truffle salt and some black pepper again, just like last time. I wanna cover it maybe so that it'll like cook on the top so you don't have to flip it. Yeah. I love that noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you just do it every time I bring, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, I guess we're cheating. Oh, okay. Of course. That's <laughs> exactly what we're doing. Now we have to drink three. Ooh. Ooh. Look. Ow. Oh my God. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Should I flip it? Oh. 
Oh. They didn't flip theirs, but I feel like I kind of would want to flip it because yeah, I want the other side of the onion to, to cook. cook. Yeah, I don't like raw onion. This is pretty cool. Cute. It looks cute. Let's try it. So from the looks of it, the onion looks soft. We'll see what this oh. is all about. Ooh. Oh. The egg's like really cooked, but I like it like that. I hate when it's like mushy. Mm. Oh my god. That is good. Mm. I like it. That's you don't even like onions usually. Raw I don't onions. like raw onion. That's really, really delicious. Very creative. Mm -hmm. I think this is a success. I think Second next time. Second time success. Yeah, next time we make this, I would definitely want to. Maybe we can put other things with the egg in the middle, like bell peppers, like mm. really, really finely chopped bell peppers. Like make little omelets out of it, mm. little vegan cheese. Like mushrooms. Mm. I don't know if that would cook all the way. Yeah, vegan cheese. Because right now the egg, I think I got a little dry. Maybe that's why they left it a little watery. Yeah. Little omelet cups we can do. Mm, you know, why don't we cut the onion thicker next time so that we can put more mm. egg in it. That's a good idea. Because this egg got dry because it's really thin, but it's good. Like half an onion, stack it. <laughs> Benny Hanna style, do like a volcano. Yeah, just Fill egg the volcano. whole thing with egg. Great idea. Mm. That was good. Mm. That's a thumbs up for me. Me too. So we had Nutella bread. That was an eh. And that was a fail. Yeah. Popcorn, fail. <sighs> Corn dog. Yeah, that what's your egg. thumbs up? Ramen pizza, Half. fail. Yeah. Onion egg. Success. That was good. So, two out of five. So, uh, what is that? 40%. They failed. If they were in school, they would have an F. Wow. Well, that was an interesting math, uh, time. Math pod. But it was fun. I had a lot of fun, and we definitely tried things that we wouldn't have tried otherwise. So, that was a, a pro of this video. But we are going to finish our wine, and we are going to head to bed. Shout out to Wink for sponsoring this video. We appreciate it. And if you want to check out Wink, once again, the information for the discount is down below in the description. And I will link, <laughs> I'll link all of the recipes that we tried today too, in case you want to check out the original video as well. And that is all for us, from us today. We will we love see you. you soon. We love you guys. And uh, have a great morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. Cheers. Girl, I must warn you. I can see you honey. I just wanna do it, do it, do it, and just me and you.